are enjoying adult beverages here at the fairgrounds, something that hasn't been allowed here in nearly 70 years. That's right. The Indiana Beer and Wine Exhibition is located in the Grand Hall. That's across from the Coliseum, which is just behind us here on Main Street. Easy to get to. Uh, RTV6 reporter Chance Walser has been speaking with some of the vendors who are going to take part this year. Chance. I'm sober. I'm sober, guys. <laughs> just to let you know, I'm fully capable of doing my job. Like you mentioned, breweries and wineries will be here every day for the fair's 17 day run. Fair officials say the goal is really to educate uh, people about the agriculture, the Indiana agriculture involved in creating some of these beverages. We spoke with a couple of vendors today who are pretty excited about the opportunity. Four months ago, Toyard Brewing opened its doors in downtown Indianapolis with a restaurant in the front and a brewery in the back. There's definitely a lot of science to it. Um, which is a lot of fun, but there's also a lot of art to it in the same way that a chef would design a, a very wonderful meal. Here, Will Mormon is the chef. He's worked for months to put his personal touch on the beer making process, including naming the fermentation vessels. One is Obi-Wan. The twins over here are Luke and Leia. And this is Yoda and this is Vader. We're all big Star Wars nerds here. The State Fair will feature several tow yard offerings on this. The first day alcohol has been sold on the grounds in nearly seven decades. I think it was a very smart uh, move by the State Fair because it just it's going to grab a whole new excitement, the industry, and uh, it, it ties in uh, very well with the State Fair. You got a lot of people out there that, that look at it as well. They're letting alcohol in the fair, you know what I mean, stuff, but this is agriculture. Ertl Cellars Winery in Batesville grows its own grapes that make a wine that you can taste at the fair's beer and wine exhibition. You can start it, plant it, nurture it, harvest it, bottle it, and sell it. It's one of the few things in the world that you can start and truly finish, and uh, it's a passion. It really is. So the beer and wine exhibition is in that building you can see just over my right shoulder way down there. We'll take you inside and give you a look at how it's all working uh, for this, the first time it's been working uh, in almost 70 years. Todd and Erica, back to you. Lots